Architecture is about designing experiences, experiences through space, and the space and geometry are the tools that we use to create experiences. Often it turns into a building, <laughs> but that's not always the case. There are a lot of sculptures that we do and other, other types of forms that we do to try and evoke a particular emotion or to evoke a particular experience. There are a lot of people that, that design uh, towers, you know, skyscrapers, and, and, and there's actually a lot of complexity in it, especially like where you put the core. The core is usually where you put all the electrical, the water, the sewer, and the, and the elevators. The elevators need a lot of support, so that's where a lot of concrete goes. So they put that core usually in the center, and then you've got floor plates that go all the way up. Now you can change the pattern of the floor plates as they go up and change the shape of the building as it moves up, but then you have to recalculate what the loads will be at each part so that you can size how big the, the beams, sorry, the columns need to be in order to support the weight all the way up. Um, so often you need to, so, to also calculate the volume where you take each of the floor plates and the height because the heights might be different for each floor. You know, usually the bottom few floors, usually the bottom one or two floors, um, are a lot, uh, a lot taller to create a, a, a better entrance for people than the, are the, the floors that are higher up towards the top. And so actually the area, the volume of that air is different for each floor. And so you need a way to calculate. So you take those floors and then you take the height and basically you multiply those together and get the, the amount of volume of that air. But there's a lot of talk in architecture about what is a wall. A wall is a thing that divides, it's a thing that uh, you know, separates two spaces, but it doesn't have to be vertical. It could be at a slant, it could be, at, uh, be at curved, it can be any shape you want. A wall does not have to be straight, it doesn't even have to be solid. You can have patterns inside it that go through. Um, and so uh, what we do sometimes is we have to calculate the volume, and that becomes complicated if we don't use straight walls, which we don't really like to do but the, the software likes to use those because it's easier to calculate the volume. But when we calculate the volume, we need to know how much air there is because we need to circulate that air based on standards so that the air is refreshed every once in a while. It shouldn't be refreshed too quickly and it shouldn't be refreshed too slowly. And it should move just a little bit to keep people comfortable. So we need to know how much volume there is so we can size the air handling units or the air conditioners that we put on the roof or on the ground. If they're too heavy, we, we, we might put them on the ground. But you need to calculate the volume to know um, how much air is in there because that also can tell you how much uh, water is in the air. Because if you know what the humidity is at that time, you know how much water is in the air, you know how much latent heat is in that air, and how much energy you need to, to in order to remove that heat from it if you need to cool the building, or how much water and heat you need to put into it to heat it up to a certain temperature. So there's, there's also this idea in, in architecture where the skin as structure. Mm -hmm. So when there's a, like a glass structure, usually glass can't support itself. So you have some structure, structural pattern on the outside. Some people will use triangles to create that pattern, but others will, will like to create sort of more fluid shapes or something more complex. Um, and they need to actually design it in a way and, and design the structural elements inside it so that they hide them if they don't want to show that structure. And just the pattern becomes the structure, so it's an illusion about how it's actually standing up.